Hello and welcome to the video for fifth grade uh, for Wednesday, April the 8th. This is going to cover um, Go Math Lesson 9.2, um, which works with ordered pairs. So um, we did a little bit of practice with this yesterday. Um, if you were on the uh, Zoom call that I did, uh, we played a couple games of Kahoot uh, to practice some of this stuff. So. Um, if you ever get the chance to come in, we can, we can work on some math stuff. And so that was a fun way to do that with, uh, the students that were there on the call. So, um, ordered pairs. So we are going to be graphing things on the coordinate planes. So our X axis is always going to run. If you follow where my mouse is going from left to right. And so we can see that along here, our Y axis is always going to go up and down. So we can have positive or negative values uh, for either number. Right now we're going to focus more on positive numbers. Next year when you're doing it in sixth grade, um, you will have to be able to uh, do that regardless of whether it's a positive or negative number. So let's go ahead and take a look at our unlock the problem and then our extra thing here, zero, zero, where everything would meet in the middle is going to be called the origin. Um, so let, they want us to write the ordered pairs for the locations of the arena and the aquarium. So uh, they give us the arena portion. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit and make this the focus on the screen here. Um, so right here is our arena. We would start by counting over three spots and then counting up two. And that's going to give us uh, three, two for the ordered pair for that one for the aquarium. I want you to go ahead and try this along with me. Pause the video if you need to. Um, we're going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our first number is going to be nine. And then we are going to count up. And that's going to give us one, two, three, four. So for the aquarium, our ordered pair would be nine, four. So the x value is nine, y value is four. Describe the path that you would take to get from the origin um, to the aquarium using horizontal and then vertical. We would start here. So where I'm putting this uh, little bit of a dot, here's our origin. We are going to head to the right to get here, and then we are going to head up. Um, so however you would, would like to put that in words. Um, so next, uh, let's take a look at example one. Um, I didn't circle this part, but I I don't think I did. Um, but I still want to talk through this because this will give us some information that will be helpful for uh, some of the later things. So not only are we going to have to figure out where the value is, we will occasionally have to label it on um, the grid uh, for the coordinate plane. So this shows us going five over and seven up and then we have point j which is at five seven so they want us to plot out eight zeros so eight is going to be our x value so we're going to count across eight if we're at zero we are going to stay exactly on the axis so i'm going to draw my point in blue here and then we would label that eight zero and then we would say that this is point S. So we're going to move eight units to the right and then up zero units. Uh, the second one, we are going to um, have a line segment to connect point A and point B. So the reason that we would do this is so that we can figure out what the distance is. So if I draw a straight line through here, very mostly straight line. I can count from here by ones to figure out how many units there are in between points A and B. So go ahead and do that. Um, I'm coming up with one, two, three, four, five, six units. Next year you will have to um, do this and we'll be going uh, from a negative number um, through an axis to get to a positive number. So we'll work with absolute value um, before we do that. Um, and so you could add 
the absolute value of something. So if I had negative three for one of them and I had five uh, for the other, and let's say it was nine negative three and nine positive five, I would take three plus five and it would be eight units apart from each other. Um, so that kind of explains how we would use number one. We can use subtraction or addition. Um, so we can take this nine here for y and subtract three from the y value for this one to get six units. Um, for number two, what they want us to do is graph the points three, two, and five, two, and explain how we can use subtraction. So I'm going to make, um, let's do a darker color. Um, so let's do this. So we're going to go over three and up two. And that's going to be one of them. My other one is going to be five and two. And that's going to be in green. So I can count over two spots doing it this way, or I can do five minus three equals two. Um, so that kind of explains how to do both of those problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at our share and show questions. So um, this one, I would suggest you go ahead and pause the video. Go ahead and find as many points as you can. We're going to be working on one, three, five, seven, and nine for this one. Go ahead and find these two points and go ahead and write those in. And then if you want to go ahead and find these three points as well, um, go ahead and mark those on there. And then when you're ready, unpause the video and you can uh, watch me work through this. So um, I'm going to change my color, I think, back to black. So C is going to be uh, 6, 3. All of our ordered pairs have to be in parentheses. I am probably going to cheat that part because it's really difficult to draw with this. If I had the ability to type um, normally, it would be a little bit different. Um, but I will try to do it correctly uh, for the moment. And then we have 9, 9 for the second one. Um, letter M, so I'm going to switch over to green. Uh, we are going to be at 0 and then 9. So we're going to go 0 places to the left or right. And then we are going to go up 9, and that's going to put it here. So this one would be um, number 5. I'll use blue for this one. So we're going to go over to 10. And then we are going to go up 4. And that's going to be the blue one. And then uh, W I will put in red. And so that would be 5. And then we go all the way up to 10. And then uh, let's take a look at on your own. So again, we're going to be doing 11, 13, uh, 15, all the way through 25. Um, so go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start writing down uh, the ordered pairs. So G is going to be at 6, 4. Um, I is going to be at 0, 7. And K is going to be at 3, 3. All right. And again, go ahead and put in your um, spots for 17 through 23. Uh, pause the video while you do that. And then once you're ready, come back. Um, so 8, 2, I'll do in black. Um, so that's going to be this one. I'll do X in red. So that's going to give me 2, 9. Um, R I will do in blue, and that's going to be right here. And then the last one, T, I will do in green, and that's going to be over 5, up 7. It's kind of like um, when we were using a um, multiplication table, and we wanted to find the answer to 5 times 7, we would go over here and then go up or something like that. It, it kind of works similar to that, um, I think. So... I don't know if that helps, but um, as far as finding it, but our left number is always going to be left to right. So negative values would go this way. 
um, our right number is always going to be from top to bottom and we may go down uh, that way. So explain how to find the diff distance. So I don't have any of these except for um, this pair here and this pair here that I can do this with easily. Um, but I can use subtraction or I could count up. Um, so I could go from L um, to W and count three units. I could go from X to H and count two units using addition or subtraction. Um, so for F to A, um, 22, oh, that's right. We have to do this one, sorry, uh, my fault. Um, I will do both of these in yellow and purple. So yellow, um, F is going to be seven, six. And then purple uh, will be seven, one. Next year, once you get more practice with this, you'll just be able to look at these and know that I can do six minus one to get five. Um, but plotting them on here, we can count this way or count this way uh, to get that. So that covers everything that I wanted to go over with you guys uh, for this particular lesson. Um, sorry, it probably took a little bit longer than it needed to, um, but I want to make sure you guys understand that. So this is something that we will hammer to death next year um, in sixth grade, and you'll have to have a lot more responsibility with being able to figure this out. Um, the good thing is, is if you are, get comfortable with this now, when we do it next year, it'll be a breeze. Um, it'll take hardly any effort at all to do it. Um, and so that it'll make it a lot easier for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I hope I've explained it well enough to uh, kind of give you an idea of what's uh, going on. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to post in the comments for um, Google Classroom. And again, on Thursday, I will have a... Um, session uh, off of that hours so you can come in and ask any questions that you need to. So have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.